Hello everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome to Fifth Element Tarot. I'm here to do our daily energy read for today, which is June 2nd, 2020. So the date breaks for to 8, 12, which breaks to a 13, all about connection and communication with the angelic realm. I saw in my mind's eye the number combination 811, but I saw it as 811. So in some way that date is significant. Um, then I heard India Ari's song, Heart of the Matter. And specifically what they played first is I think it's about forgiveness. Even if you don't love me anymore. I lost me, you lost you, flesh gets weak. I've been learning to live without you now, but I miss you, baby. The more I know, the less I understand all the things I thought I knew, I'm learning them again. I've been trying to get down to the heart of the matter, but my will gets weak and my thoughts seem to scatter. But I think it's about forgiveness, forgiveness, even if you don't love me anymore. These times are uncertain. There's a yearning undefined and people filled with rage. Interesting. So these times are so uncertain. There's a yearning undefined and people filled with rage. So meaning people are yearning and wanting and needing something that, but they can't quite figure out what that something is. Interesting. We all need a little tenderness. How can we, how can love survive in such a graceless age? And the trust and self-assurance that leads to happiness are the very things we kill. I guess pride and competition cannot fill these empty arms and the world they put between us, you know it doesn't keep us warm. Interesting. If I could have written down every word, to this song I would have, okay? All about what's going on socially. I will live happily ever after and my heart is so shattered, but I know it's about forgiveness. So we go from thinking to knowing it's about forgiveness. Then I saw the Ten of Pentacles in my mind's eye. Ten of Pentacles is legacy long-standing foundational things that provide for you and future generations. Inheritance, not just tangible inheritance, but knowledgeable metaphysical inheritance also. Then I heard forgiveness, growth, surrender, dreams. It tells a very detailed, clear story. Forgiveness and growth and surrender leads to the life of your dreams. Then I was taken back to a line in the song about pride and competition. So this whole thing, I will live happily ever after and my heart is so shattered, but I know it's about forgiveness, is a pride and competition thing, not love, okay? So what I was shown was a vision of a child in gym class being picked last for a team. That kind of energy. And no, that does not feel good. But what does sitting in that energy do to your legacy? So when we cannot have the things that we want or we ask the universe for. Trust me that there is something essential, more essential to the growth of your soul happening in that no. I just wanted to make sure that that's everything and it is. Um, so yeah, our message is gonna be something Along. Oh, one other thing. In the song, it says, you keep carrying anger and it'll eat you up inside. This is about getting to the heart of the matter is the title of the song. 
So yes, our message is going to be something along those lines. So let's go ahead and get it. And I got so engrossed, guys, in the tapping in. Uh-uh. You're going to hear a lot of movement. That I didn't get my cards out. Wow. It was good, it was good, it was good. Anything about growth, love, wholeness, oneness, I'm all about it. So let's go ahead and get our message. Send our farm. And let's do the Archangel Power Tarot deck. So since the majority of the cards that I got in my tapping in were from Sundara Fon's uh, Reawakening the Solo deck, we'll get this main spread from here and an overall read on the energy from here. Notice that the card or the color of today is violet for the crown chakra. So otherworldly downloaded information. So one card for an overall read on today's energy, please. So, when things are disjointed like this, we have visitors that don't normally frequent my readings. So, I'll step back in fully and drive, okay? So, Heavenly Father, Holy Spirit, angels of the highest love and light, you are welcomed here. Please fill this space. I'm here to do a daily energy read for Fifth Element Row as a collective for today. June 2nd, 2020, using me as the channel. Please give us a clear and concise message. You know how I read. Thank you. Overall read on the energy coming from um, Archangel Power Tarot deck. Violet, the color of the day. Interesting. Oneness, wholeness being fought to the Dickens. Okay. Resistance, resistance cards are stiff as a board. Interesting. Now, transformation energy. The only time I get stiff as a board cards leads me right to stiff as a board, literally. Okay. And as I say that, there's a little fluidity added to the cards, but still very stiff and resistant. Absolutely it is. One card. Mm, mm, mm. Hold on, guys. Yep, and resistance on one. time here and clear the energy. Cardinal and house energy. Beautiful. All right. Let's see. Very resistant, stiff energy. Mm, mm, mm. But I will not get a card until the cards feel right. Yep. Beautiful. One card to a number of. Yep. Comes on powerful masculine energy. And it is goes all the way up in the air in dramatic form and then comes plopping down. The emperor in reverse. So, card number four. Fours are about stability, home, family, and foundation. I'm drawn instantly to the purple card, crown chakra. So, major arcana. Emperor is my leader, my boss. He's all my kings in one. He takes charge of a situation in the upright. 
This card reads Archangel Uriel, stability and efficiency, taking charge of a situation, ambitious plans. Well, this emperor is in reverse, a master manipulator, or he fancies his, himself to be. Interesting. So this is the overall read on our energy today. So, someone who overdoes control, okay? Interesting. Wanting to look at the bottom of this deck, but solutions is here, okay? Card number 14, Archangel Zadigil. Success that comes from objective compromise, self-control, and patience, forgiving and healing energy. I tell no lies. Forgiving and healing. Okay, so this is how this person is seen is the emperor in reverse. Interesting. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our read. Coming from Zandar Von 3 Awakening the Soul deck, it is wrapped in yellow. All about strength, core, soul, plexus the core of the matter. So tell the story about this supposed emperor in reverse. I read in the video, guys. And this is from a um, I will go ahead and tell it. It's from the view of the feminine energy that is on the outskirts of this um, fruitful, abundant union that is watching and stalking and needing to come to growth, forgiveness, and surrender to welcome the life of her dreams. I read energy well. I don't have to pull a card. Tell a story, please. Thank you. Yes. only card that's upright in a thing, okay? About a union. Look at the ring, okay? A divine union covered by the heavens, okay? The only card that's in the upright. I don't need, to, like, I don't make this up. As a challenge, central to the issue, a transformation is needed. Dying to an old way of doing and or being. Struggling to forgive. I got too much in my download to play games about a message. Not listening inwardly and outwardly. Not being fearless in closing out this cycle. I tell no lies. The next card, which was buried is fire, needing to set fire to something emotionally. Get rid of your past emotional hurts. Transform them. Second indication of fire by death or death by fire. Interesting. <laughs> For your future. And struggling to celebrate in it. at the bottom of this deck. Unhappy ethers, okay? Not able to manifest, not able to co-create. Blocked because of your relationship with self. I promise you all love returns to self, all of it. So failing to love returns to self also. This is a card of now. It's center, center, present, ethers. Cardinal. Two of them with two different calls. But um, this is clear and concise, okay? 
so. And if this is how you view this person, move on. Okay? So solutions. Page of Ariel in reverse. Not giving tangibly. Okay? Energy, time, thought, anything. Start the connection. It is only energetic, only in your mind. So if you don't want to be energetically um, stalking someone and having sleepless nights, starve the energy because it is not to a cups in the upright. Okay? Come out of this illusion, confusion, with seven of cups in reverse. And welcome this epiphany that's here for you. Please, today, expeditiously. It's lingered too long. And the longer you linger, the more you welcome the tower. You've had the epiphany a long time ago. You just refused to sit in it and act on it, getting a card of advice. And um, guys, I'm just gonna forewarn you, we'll be in this energy probably until the end of the week because there's a huge uh, wrap up going on. And this is like trying to gain sight at the final hour, okay? Cardinal Steel. If I have enough space, I'll leave the symbolism for you. So, card of advice is coming from the Mystical Shaman Oracle deck. One card, please, for navigating the energy in this spread. Partnerships and or alliances, I tell no lies. And when you encounter our energy over and over and over again, there's familiarity there. So it doesn't take me long to realize whose energy this is and what vibe it's on. One card for navigating the energy in the spread. I get three still. Mm -mm, honey. And I just heard Queen of Wands, which is super interesting. Interloper. Anyone that comes between two or attempts to come between two in this case. So, falling right here on Celebrate, while woman in reverse, 62 breaks to an eight. Eights are about movement and abundance. This is like, this is about aggressively seeking something. It's in reverse. The journey in the upright. Get your tail on your path. 29 breaks to an 11. So here is the 8. 11 that I saw tapping in. Beautiful. Thank you. Reverse is the drum. Card number 15. Reduces to a six. Sixes are about journey to harmony or harmony. The drum is about responding to a distant beat, a soul calling, a soul urging to get your tail on is your drum beat. Okay? So, the uh, only card that's upright is Journey. Let's read it. Hmm. Card number 29. It's a nice day. You're going to hear all kinds of activity because I do have the window wide open. The journey, the essence. The journey is an invitation to step outside the boundaries of your life as you know it. The journey is not a holiday. It's a call to be hermit-like. The camera literally just went out. As soon as I read hermit-like, okay? 
which gives me the hermit card in my mind's eye, okay? So I'll start again, the essence. The journey is an invitation to step outside the boundaries of your life as you know it. The journey is not a holiday. It's a call to be hermit-like and to go on a pilgrimage into the unknown. There are no maps to the territory you'll be exploring, no marked paths or road signs. The invitation, the time to embark on the great journey is here. Do not linger in the port when distant shores are calling. Fearlessly draw your own navigational charts as you discover the route. When the time is right, as it is now, you'll be led true, even when you're not sure of where you're going. It's the departure that's most important. If you miss the boat, a great opportunity will be lost and another ship may not arrive for a very long time. The medicine. The journey is calling you, but the timing is premature. Not in this case. Collecting postcards or fantasies of where you want to go may take over your focus and make you miss your destiny. Other things must be completed first, like your journey to wholeness. Or you may still be attached to knowing the destination. Remember that the point of the journey is not the destination. It's who you will become as you are transformed along the way. Do not confuse the inner and the outer journey. Yeah. Somebody's not tempering their emotions, needing to calm yourself down emotionally. Get on your journey and respond to the beat of the distant drum. Now, expeditiously. Can't say it enough. This is our message. I hope it was helpful. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, check out, because this just adds to the delusion. Check out the description box below. You'll find additional helpful information about this reading, angel numbers, numerology, additional insight. Until tomorrow, my beautiful people, let's see if I can get you to see the whole spread. I'm wishing you miracles and blessings. Namaste.